Hey guys, Destiny Owen here. And today I just want to share a quick little trick with you guys. I'm well aware that it's nearly impossible to always have your happy face on. However, there are ways to reprogram the subconscious mind, ways to make yourself more, more mindful. And this little trick slash tip that I've learned along the way can serve so many purposes. In times of anxiety, in times um, of problems with weight loss, um, for instance, if you feel as though you're hungry and you're not sure if it's really sort of, you know, just emotional eating or you're really hungry, this is a great tip or trick to bring yourself back centered and be able to make better decisions. So here it is. You're gonna get straight from me. I use this all the time because believe it or not, I am not always 100% happy. So here it is, number five. Take the time to just see five different things. So as you're sitting, walking, it doesn't matter, but really find your focus on five different things you can see. So for instance, um, right now I can see my garage door. Uh, I can see a mirror, but you wanna pick five things that are just nearby that you can take a second to acknowledge. So there we go, we have your sense of sight. Now, secondly, four. Number four would be four things in which you can touch. So that can be, please don't make this all x-rated and go touch your neighbor in places that you're not supposed to. But for instance, you know, taking a second to just feel my shirt or my hair or anything around you, four things I want you to touch, okay? Four things that are not x-rated. Three things that you can hear. So for instance, you all can probably hear the lawnmower going. Sorry, I'm not a professional YouTuber. I'm just here to share <laughs> tricks and tips that help me on my journey. So, you know, it can be, like I said, the lawnmower running. Um, even sometimes when you can hear the vents in your house going off and on when it's heating and cooling. But just sitting, being aware, and identifying three different things that you can hear. Two, so two different things you can smell. Sometimes this takes me a while because I'm like, okay, how, you know, how do we do this? If I can't identify more than one smell, I mean, you can just take a second to smell whatever you can. If you can identify two different smells, great. If you identify one, you're having a hard time identifying another, close your eyes and imagine a smell. Imagine something distinct. You know, like for me, I'll share um, walking to school in the morning, the smell of fresh cut grass. I just love that smell. So if I can't identify another smell, I close my eyes and I think of that smell. And here we are at number one. So one thing you can taste. So it can be just sitting there for a moment, meditating on, you know, how your mouth tastes or your lips taste or grabbing a drink of water and, you know, really just kind of bringing all of your senses together. My favorite is to drink my hot cocoa in my cup that says, you are better than sparkles and unicorns combined. So I'll take a drink of my hot cocoa, sugar-free of course. And there you have it. Five things you can see four things you can touch, three things you can hear, two things you can smell, and one thing that you can taste. And you are on your way to mindfulness. Namaste.